And Rob, their message is there are many other options than driving drunk, like ride sharing programs, Lyft and Uber. Drivers who are ready for anything to be thrown or thrown up at them. It's the one time of year you expect your beer to be green. And at Clancy's Pub, you can crack your first cool one at 6 a.m. Last year, we were right when I got here, there were a lot of people here. Manager Taylor Daniel says this year will be even busier for them and for Omaha police. We got a, um, a grant through the state of Nebraska, so we have 10 extra um, grants going this week. Sergeant Jerry Martinez says you may be feeling Irish, but don't push your luck. If you don't want to ride home in one of these, call someone like ride sharing driver Todd Snover. Anticipate it being a, a busy, steady day. This will be his third St. Patrick's Day, and he says sometimes his riders start feeling green. And say if you're feeling a little motion sick, there are sick bags in the seat pockets uh, there next to you. But be warned, losing your lunch in Todd's back seat won't be cheap. A, a charge could be uh, put onto your credit card for the damage that they're that they caused. But Todd says to keep your ride affordable, look out for surge pricing, usually around bar clothes. Leave a little earlier, be willing to wait it out a little longer if you're trying to avoid it. During peak times, ride prices go way up, but still. It's certainly cheaper than, uh, cheaper than a DUI with legal fees and fines. Between beer tents and live music, there are plenty of places to find fun. Police say just remember to find a safe way home. We prefer people don't get too crazy during this time. Use good judgment and act appropriately. Now, just by having those ride sharing apps, you agree to those damage fees, which can run anywhere from $50 to $200. And that'll cover cleanup and loss of business, but it likely won't help your hangover. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Christina Engdahl, KTV News Watch 7.